Hey everybody, lighten up your life with Lisa T. Positive energy reading, The Language of Letting Go by Melody Beattie. Yes, it's backwards, figure it out. Okay, so I'm now gonna read March 17th, Empowering. You can think, you can feel, you can solve your problems, you can take care of yourself. You can take care of yourself. Do you hear that motorcycle in the background? Ooh, this sounds the summer. <laughs> So you can think, you can feel, and you can solve your problems, living in the solution, not the problem, and you can take care of yourselves. Those words have often benefited me more than the most profound and elaborative advice. How easy it is to fall into the trap of doubting ourselves and others. We talked about doubt in a previous video. When someone tells us about a problem, what is our reaction? Do we believe we need to solve it for the person? Yeah, right? Someone comes to you and you think, oh, I have to solve it for them. I have to give them advice. I have to help them. Do we believe that that person's future rests on our ability to advise him or her? That's standing on shaky ground, not the stuff of which recovery is made. So we don't want to solve someone else's problems. We want to empower them to solve their own problems, just like we want to empower ourselves to solve our own problems. When someone is struggling through a feeling or morass of feelings, what is our reaction? That the person will never survive that experience. We have to be, know that we're strong and we're gonna survive through all of these experiences. They're all for our learning and for our good. They're all happening for us, not to us. The person will never survive the experience. That's not okay for someone to feel that he or she will never get through this intact. My, one of my best friends, she's, she always reminds me, you're gonna make it through this. And I, and I now can say that to myself. She's advised me just, you know, letting me know that I'm strong and I'm gonna make it through this. And then I can get that from within after I've heard it a couple of times. And it's such a better way of managing through life. So that, she, that he or she will never get through this intact. When a person is faced with the task of assuming responsibility for their life and their behaviors, what is our response? That the person can't do that? I must do it myself to save him or her from dissipating into ashes from crumbling, from falling. I've got to save them. I've got to do something to help them. That's the co That's a major codependency thing. What is our reaction to ourselves when we encounter a problem, a feeling, or when we face the prospect of assuming responsibility for ourselves? What is our reaction to ourselves when we say, I'm going to take responsibility? Hmm, good question. Do we believe in ourselves and others? Do we believe in ourselves in those moments and then do we believe in them in that moment? Do we give power to people, including ourselves and their abilities? Or do we give the power to the problem, the feeling, or the irresponsibility? Ooh, really good to contemplate. Do we believe in ourselves and others? Question. Do we give power to people, including ourselves and their abilities? Often we don't do that, I think. Or do we give power to the problem, the feeling, or the irresponsibility? We can learn to check ourselves out, check yourself, we can learn to think and consider our response before we respond. Consider what you're gonna say, consider your thoughts. Don't be so knee-jerk reaction to spit something out of your mouth. Think, pause. I'm sorry you're having that problem. This is something you could say. I'm sorry you're having that problem, but I know you can figure it out. I know you can figure out a solution. Sounds like you've got some feelings going on. I know you'll work through them and come out on the other side. It's empowering, right? Each of us is responsible for ourselves. That does not mean we don't care. It does not mean a cold, calculated withdrawal of our support from others. It means we learn to love and support people in a way that works. It means we learn to love and support ourselves in a way that works. It means that we connect with friends who love and support us in a way that works. Ooh, this is changing the game big time, this one. To believe in people, to believe in a person's inherent ability to think, feel, and solve problems and take care of themselves is a great gift we can give and receive to others. Oh, yes. Here's the prayer for today. Today, why, today I will strive to give and receive support that is pure and empowering. So tell yourself, I'm going to give support that's empowering from now on. Support to myself and to others that's empowering. I will work at believing in myself and others and our mutual abilities to be competent at dealing with feelings, solving problems, and taking responsibility for yourself and ourselves. It's all up to you. 
you can do this. Yes, you're gonna make it through. You, you have the abilities, you have the capabilities to solve problems and not to live in the problem. Amen! <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody.